Hey, how you doing? Doing great. I brought an old car down to see if you guys are interested in buying. All right, I got a lot in the back. You want to pull it around? You bet. Come on, Grandpa. All right, hang on. Don't go so fast. I run slow in the morning. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Old Dodge Brothers. 1924 Dodge Brothers, business sedan. What's the top speed on it? 40, 45 mile an hour. That was high speed back in the day, Corey. That's high speed for you now. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my 1924 Dodge Brothers business sedan. I'd like to sell it today to get a little cash to be able to get out and travel in an RV and have a good time. I'm looking to get somewhere around 14.5, and the least I'd like to have for it would be 10. So tell me everything you know about it. Back in 2001, it was completely ground up restoration, and I purchased it. I drive it in parades and things. Okay. You know anything about Dodge Brothers? Back in the 20s, they were a big company. They were never like Ford, but they made a lot of cars. The Dodge brothers that started this company actually had worked for Henry Ford and then started their own yeah, company. It, a lot of people bled off from Ford. Back in the 20s, there was over 3,000 car companies in the U.S., but only 45 of them actually made cars that ran. You know, those cars are all original. As you can tell, the headlight lenses are dulled and stuff like that. It's not reproduction parts on it. It's still got the old wood wheels. Seems like it's in fair shape. It's got some problems. It's got some chips. It's gonna have to be repainted, Corey, and it needs some chrome work. Who put these windows in, man? That's not tempered glass. <laughs> That's like the kind of glass you would use for a coffee table. Did we ever tell you that before? No. That's going to have to be replaced. Hit a speed bump too hard, man. You're going to get a shard of glass in your neck with this thing. <laughs> the interior looks good. It's been redone. Should have been done in fabric instead of Naga hide. I'm going to go around the other side and check out the motor. You mind starting it up for me? You bet. Nice. It's pretty cool to see a car that's almost 100 years old, but I can already tell there's too many issues with this thing for us to make an offer without deeper inspection. So I'm gonna need to call in a buddy to help me figure out if it's even worth it. So what are you looking to do with it? I need to sell it. I mean, I just got too much stuff and too many cars. What are you looking to get out of it? Well, I'd like to have around 14.5, something like that. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, my man. Whoever restored this car didn't do a very good job. I mean, it looks like it was a father-son project or something. So I'm gonna have to figure out what it's gonna cost to make the car right. Let me go give my buddy a call. He'll uh, come down and take a look at it for me. Okay. This thing probably isn't something that would interest serious collectors, but it could have a lot of value as a project car, or maybe we just sell it for parts. How you doing, Corey? Doing well. The guys usually call me down here when they've got either a motorcycle or a car or anything that, you know, is a, a vehicle of sorts. Tell me about this. It's a 1924 Dodge Brothers business sedan. Had a restoration done on it. Starts and runs good. Well, you know, Dodge Brothers was the predecessor to Dodge, obviously. There were tons of American car companies back in the day, and not many survived, and Dodge Brothers made it. They had a quality product, and when many companies fell apart, they stuck around, and it, it evolved into Dodge. What's your concerns, brother? Man, I had a poor restoration done to it. I wanted to know what it would cost to get it back to where I'd be able to sell it, because I couldn't sell it like this. You mind if I check it out? No, go ahead. Help yourself. Sweet. Yeah, man, these old wheels are cool. It's kind of like the early version of the pin drive hub, one center nut holding it on. Let's see here, man. I dig the old Speedo in here, man. The speedometer is way cool. <laughs> no rubber on it. I got you. It's all there, but it's just not all right. Right. This car, although it's pretty, it does need everything refinished to make it that much prettier. You mind if we take it for a little spin? No, sir. Man, you, you get in before you or the springs go down. <sighs> you weigh more than I do now, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> Technology has changed so much, but it cruises nice, man. Hey, Tanny, be careful. Watch out for that cop. You guys want to race? <laughs> I, I got it floored right now. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing's almost 100 years old. It runs pretty well. It does. It does, man. Everything feels good in it. To me, the issues that were on this car were really all cosmetic. The engine drove great. The transmission worked just fine. The brakes worked just fine. So what do you think it's worth? In the state that it's in, I'd put it somewhere between 
between eight and ten grand, something like that. And I'm asking fourteen five. And I know they need to make some money on it sure. and stuff, but it's not something I'm going to be able to sell in this condition. Everything works good on it. I mean, I don't see why they couldn't just buy it now. Because then I'm selling somebody else a project. When I sell stuff, my customers typically like it to be done. Give me your bottom dollar. What do you want for the car? I'd like to have eleven, something like that. I'll offer you around six thousand. Even with him saying in the shape it's in right now, it's worth it like eight. You said eight, we say six, I'll go to seven. We've got a deal. Let's go 75. What do you think? I'm not gonna lose the car over 500 bucks. I'll go 7,500 bucks. Come with me, man, let's do some paperwork. I hated to let go of the car. I've loved driving it. I just don't have room for it, don't have the time for it anymore.